All right, lads, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. I haven't done a late upload for quite some time. Most of my uploads have been kind of early. But I wanted to give you this bit of information that's come out in regards to Moses Caicedo. And I also wanted to discuss the Moses Caicedo situation with you guys a little bit further. We have had some developments over the past couple of days. And the tweet by Fabrizio Romano just now uh, gives us a little bit more insight. So I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions with you and give you an update in regards to Moses Caicedo. But before we continue, do me a favor and smash that like button on this video. And if you're new to the Blue Lounge, hit that subscription key and turn that bell notification button on. Now, let's have a look at what Fabrizio Romano just tweeted in regards to Moses Caicedo. So this is what Fabrizio Romano had to say. He said, uh, understand Moses Caicedo deal is now moving, he's highlighted the word moving, between Chelsea and Brighton. To be fair, we've known this for quite some time. Let's continue. The two clubs are discussing amount of fixed fee, £70 million, pounds, not enough, okay? Deal will 100% also include add-ons. Negotiations continue to find a solution as soon as possible. So that's the latest in regards to Moses Caicedo as per Fabrizio Romano. Let's discuss this. So we've known discussions have been going on between Chelsea Football Club and Brighton Hove Albion. We've known that they've had direct contact over the past couple of weeks now. They've been discussing face-to-face. -face. It's not been one of those uh, through the a third party kind of discussion. No, they've been sitting down, talking and discussing. Moses Caicedo has also indicated his love and his respect for Chelsea Football Club quite recently. We know that Moses Caicedo has not made it a secret that he does want to play for Chelsea Football Club. He does want to come and play for the best team in London. He wants to be a blue, a Chelsea blue. However, the whole situation with Moses Caicedo and the, the negotiations with Brighton has been a little bit, a little bit problematic. You see, the thing is, Chelsea have offered in the past um, close to eighty to eighty-five million, including. Add-ons, so not eighty-five million as a as a will of payment. No, it's been a chunk of that payment in add-ons. Now, this tweet by Fabrizio Romano, and to be fair, it has been confirmed by other sources as well. Is Chelsea are looking to pay around seventy million, and the rest will be in add-ons, and they are looking to do between you know eighty to eighty-five. Potentially, they'll go up to ninety. Now, the uh, the initial fee is the is the, um, the sticking point right now. How much do Brighton accept? Now, if Brighton do want to push for the hundred million pound mark, then they are going to have to accept installments. Chelsea will pay that, but they will break it up into a couple of years. So they'll be paying one big payment, and then the rest will be paid in installments. Brighton don't want that. Brighton want to see that seventy million pound mark increased. I think if we see something in the region of eighty to eighty five plus. Um, 15 or 10 in add-ons that could be the benchmark that Brighton, Brighton are actually aiming for right now it is not very clear to what is taking so long is it the actual figure the final figure or the way that final figure is structured I like to think that it's more in regards to the initial payment that I think is the actual stumbling block right now because if we are going to pay them 70 to 80 million, then the add-ons are going to be a lot higher. And I think they are going to want us to do that in a lump sum. So they want us to pay maybe 75, 80 million, and then the rest leading up to the 100 million pound mark in add-ons. And I think Chelsea are potentially able and willing to pay the 70 to 80 million and increase it to 100 million pounds with the add-ons, but not as a one-off payment, not as in 70 million pounds now, 80 million pounds now, and the rest of add-ons. That 70 or 80 million pounds, it does seem like Chelsea are trying to break it down over a couple of years. And I think that is where the stumbling issue is. That is where the discussion is currently taking place. But I think the longer this, uh, this drags on, the less likely it will be in our favour. I think that Moses Caicedo situation needs to be resolved quickly. And the reason why I think it will be less likely to be in our favour is because the later he joins the team, the later he becomes part of the squad, the more he misses from pre-season, 
the less beneficial it's going to be for him because he's a new player coming into a new club. He does need time to adjust and to acclimatise with the players, with the team. And I want to see this happen quicker. The longer it takes, the less productive it's going to be for us and the team and the squad. But last, that is what we have in regards to Moses Caicedo as of now. Um, I will be giving you a um, a transfer news video on Friday morning with my uh, with my friend Andreas. So, uh, guys, make sure you are subscribed. You have that bell notification button on to catch that video. I will give you updates as and when possible. So, lads, if you haven't hit the like button yet on this video, please do. Very much appreciate it. And also give me your comments down below. Give me your feedback and your thoughts and opinions about this whole Moses Caicedo situation and how it's developing or oh, lack of developing. Anyway, lads, take care of yourselves. I'll catch you in my next upload. Have a good one. Stay safe and peace.